Creative Maths brings you Maths, made really clear with Dr. Nick. Metric notation for engineering. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick from Creative Maths. Here are the aims for this video. You should understand how the metric system works with units and prefixes. You will gain familiarity with the metric prefixes used in engineering. You will learn and practice converting between metric units. I will assume that you are familiar with engineering notation. If you're not sure, watch the video about engineering notation. There is a link in the description below. Engineering notation is a way of writing large and small numbers in a way that is more compact and makes clear the place value or magnitude of the number. It has two parts, the number part, which is between 1 and 1000, and the magnitude part, which is 10 to the power of a multiple of 3. Positive powers correspond to large numbers and negative numbers correspond to small numbers. The very convenient thing is that engineering notation converts seamlessly to metric units. The units of the metric system you are possibly familiar with are metres, grams and litres. We use these and related units in our everyday life. Common prefixes are K for kilo, which means a thousand times or times ten to the power of three, or M for milli, meaning one thousandth. Note that it is a lowercase m. 8 km is 8 km, which is 8,000 meters. 25 mg is 25 milligrams, is 25 thousandth of a gram, or 0 0.025 grams. To get from grams to kilograms, we multiply by 1,000. So 15 kilograms is 15,000 grams. 750 millimeters is 0.75 meters. Here are the other prefixes used in engineering. Note that there is no centi. Engineers do not use centimetres. You are most likely to use mega, kilo, milli and micro, but you need to know the other ones as well. Note also that tera, giga and mega all have uppercase or capital letters and micro has the Greek letter mu. In handwriting it can look like this. It is good if you're writing it by hand to emphasise the tail. 120 km stands for 120 kilometers. To give the distance in meters, you can replace the kilo with times 10 to the power of 3, or you can multiply the number by 1000. Converting to the appropriate unit. You generally want to give your quantity in the unit that matches the engineering notation. So 12,000 volts is 12 times 10 to the 3 volts. 10 to the 3 corresponds to kilo, so 12,000 volts is 12 kilovolts. 0 0.045 amps. We convert that to engineering notation so it is 45 times 10 to the negative 3 and 10 to the negative 3 corresponds to milli. Thus our answer is 45 milliamps. 0 0.00007 ohms. As engineering notation this is 70 times 10 to the negative 6. 10 to the negative 6 corresponds to micro, so this is 70 micro ohms. Here are six examples for you to practice. Pause the video and work them out yourself. Here are the answers for you to check your answers. Pause the video and check them. I am interested to know how many people actually do the exercises. Please answer the poll in the corner of the screen. Converting to the base unit. When using formulas, we often need to put a unit in terms of the base unit. Here are some examples. 300 millivolts. First, we replace the milli prefix with times 10 to the negative 3. Sometimes that is all we need to do. Or we can put it into regular number form, which gives us 0.3 volts. 50 kilo ohms. Kilo becomes 10 to the 3. 50 kilo ohms is the same as 50,000 ohms. 593,125 micro amps. Micro is times 10 to the negative 6. The answer is 0.593125. Here are six examples for you to practice. Pause the video and work them out yourself. Here are the answers. Pause the video and check your answers. This video covered metric notation for engineering. Check in the description below for other related videos. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. 
Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for all my channel members who help to make these videos possible.